right, we're gonna bring bringing you a review on the Arduino cinnamon gum. We got this 250 milligram for uh, 16 bucks, 15.99, depending on your smoke shop. The most pot, if it's a popular flavor, they charge more. But uh, we're smoking out of a KM standard edition bowl. We're smoking uh, with the sixth anniversary Exotica coals, which are great. And we got ice in the vase, and we got the D hose tip. Personally, the 7.0 Exoticas are my favorite. The 8.0s are harder to break. Even if they do have the lines to break them, they will break kind of awkward. Yeah, like and halfway they don't have, have a big hole and it'll be, like, break right in the center of the middle one. You know, two big ones, and it's, you got to break more just to get a perfect brick, you know? This is what the Argolini's can looks like. It has two lids, so it's guaranteed to be fresh. It is a wet flavor, so it will be getting pretty good clouds and it won't burn as hot as other flavors like from the Trendsetta series from Fantasia. Um, I personally really do like this. The taste of it, honestly, is a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, it's a good cinnamon flavor. It's pretty even with, uh, it's, uh, it is a warming flavor, but it is, uh, it is a good cinnamon. It tastes like a cinnamon, like a big red gum. It's actually really nice. The Fantasia Diablo, it's kind of like it, but it's kind of like a more, it's more warming. It's like really hot if you, if it, if it, if it gets too hot, it's like hard to hit. It's like, I don't know. If you guys are getting a little bit of issues with uh, crowns or you think they're too expensive, honestly, I just recommend going ahead and picking up a BFC can, which is a 32 ounce monster can for about 325. You can get that, just cut off the bottom, poke a couple holes up in the top, and Slides right over the top of the bowl just like that. Easy. It fits most bowls, like the 30 milligram bowl. Uh, the coals, they're actually uh, really easy to ash. The 6th anniversary ones are, I mean, are extremely, that, I, I gotta admit, they're better than the 7.0s. The 8.0s are, they're, they ash up too quickly. They're harder to break. If, like, we break our coals, so they cool off faster in our ashtray. And uh, they're, like, really, really hard to break. These ones are just really easy. You just push on the tongs and it's great. And, uh, whatchamacallit. Ash them is extremely easy. You just grab a uh, poker or whatever you got and you just ash them. Um, what we do every single time we ash our coals, we go ahead and blow it out with the purge valve. Works great. You get, uh, better tasting of the cloud so you don't have stale smoke either. Um, what I recommend if you're new to, uh, smoking hookah and everything, go ahead and, uh, Get some water whenever you're smoking so you don't get dehydrated and it won't make you buzz. Because some flavors are stronger than others, so they will make you a little bit eh. This one is kind of a milder flavor. Clouds are 5 out of 5. <laughs> I mean, they're really good. <laughs> but, uh... Overall rating of this flavor is an easy 9 out of 10. I really do like this flavor. I honestly do recommend you picking it up. Once you get the smoke going, you'll get like 5 out of 5 clouds. It's a little in and out because you got to associate with your coals right now. But it is a great flavor. Argolini's is a good uh, brand. It just all depends on what kind of flavors you like and stuff. Personally, I do not like uh, citrusy flavors. Don't get me wrong, the citrusy flavors of Argolini's, they get really good clouds. They are a stronger flavor, so it will, that is the flavor that would get you buzzed. The cinnamon gum, great clouds, mild flavor, doesn't really get you buzzed. Um, what I recommend for hoses, the standard hose that it comes with the KM, I don't really recommend that because where it goes inside of the hookah. It's not perfectly round with the nozzle. Right, it's like square, so you don't get, you're sucking in more air than you are smoke. So if you want to actually smoke the flavor to its true potential, make sure everything's all airtight and everything. Um, the best way to do that, if you're having trouble with grommets and everything, go ahead and use yeah. electrical tape. With the seal on the, that goes on the vase. If it doesn't screw on, screw ons are a lot better. But if it just pops on, like uh, most hookahs, and if like the seal's kind of like the threads on it or something is like all worn off and it's pretty old or something, just use electrical tape on the vase and it should seal it good, just to your liking. Our next review would prob will probably be Watermelon Freeze, if not Code Blue. If you have any suggestions about what you guys want, try to give us like one of the flavors that doesn't really pop up on YouTube whenever you look for reviews. We'll be glad to do it. We'll even make a shout-out to the person who made the suggestion. And we'll see you next time.